Sierra here at Halcyon Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to do a very simple bind off. This is the way I've been binding off since I was just a little girl and I first learned how to knit. It's really only in the last handful of years that I have learned how to do different bind offs. And every bind off has a place and a use, uh, but this one has gotten me through many, many projects, so I'm very excited to show you. So, what you'll do is when you're ready, to finish off your knitting. I'm going to make a neat little square here. You'll start as usual. You knit your first stitch. You knit your second stitch the same way you always have. Now what's going to be different is now you'll take that first stitch. You've got two stitches on your right hand needle. And you want to take that first stitch and pass it over the second. So then you knit the next one, and now what used to be the second stitch is the first stitch. You'll pass that over, the new second. And I always pull a little bit, just because, like I said before, this can be kind of a tight bind off. So we want to keep it an even tension, like with all of our knitting. You knit, pass it over. So you'll repeat that until you get to the end of your row and you have no stitches left to knit. Passing it over. So, last stitch. I'm knitting it. I pass that one over. So now what do we do with this guy? This is where we will break the yarn, leaving a long enough tail to weave in the ends, or if you're making, say, a cowl and you want to sew some ends together, you would want to make that tail long enough to use for the seam. Don't worry too much about that. You just want to leave about six inches to be safe. You cut the tail here, and then you would take that off of your yarn, thread the end through, like so, and then you would just pull it tight and call it good. Then you have a neatly bound off edge.